Hello everyone, today I'm going to be launching my regulation Becker CPA supplemental course. So in addition to my financial Becker, in addition to my audit Becker that students find very useful, today I'm going to be launching my regulation course. So who will benefit from this course? Why should you sign up for this course? Well, I would say four group of students will benefit from this course. Let me go over the, these groups. One, if you took your tax course a while ago, so there's a gap between your education and studying for the exam. So for example, if you graduated a year, two, three years ago, or maybe more, you are going to, you forgot everything that you learned, or if you learn it properly, the rules have changed. That's one group of people. Two, if you graduated recently, what's the problem then? Well, the problem is there's a good chance you did not learn the, the material properly because you slacked yourself or your tax courses were not rigor enough to teach you everything. That's the second group. The third group, if you are an international candidate, so if you are from another country other than the U.S. and you never learn the tax system in a, in, a, in, a, in a traditional course, this course will help you. Because what Becker assumes, Becker assumes you already took your income tax course in the U.S., you already learned everything, and they, will, they assume you have a base knowledge. I don't assume anything. Actually, I start from scratch. So I can compensate for that. Fourth, if you feel Becker is going a little bit too fast or not in depth or you need an alternative explanation for Becker, I will be there to help you. So those are the four groups that will benefit from this course. Now, let me show you how the course is set up. So this way, if you're taking Becker, I made it as easy as possible for you to follow. If you go to my website, farhatlectures.com and click under CPA reg, it's going to take you to my CPA reg and you would find my Becker course. If you, by the way, if I don't only have RAG, I have as well FAR, Audit, BEC, you know, if you're studying for your CPA exam. Now, once you get once you get there, there's a course description, course summary, you can read it, but it's the best to go show you the course itself so you see how it's set up. The first thing I did is I have some material. Let me show it to you as a student. So this is what you will see. Uh, the first thing is I remind you, don't forget about some additional resources I have, which I will show you in a moment. I will get back to that. But here's how it's set up. Reg 1 M1, Reg 1 M2, Reg 1 M3. So notice this should be familiar with your, just should be familiar with Becker candidates. So if you click on Reg 3 M4, okay, Reg 3 M3 or Reg 3 M4. So Reg, let's look at Reg 3 M3. For example, you, you can download the PowerPoint slides, netting capital gains and losses, an example, then a quiz. Then I will talk about section 1231, then a quiz, section 1245, a quiz, section 1250, then a quiz. So what I did is I tried to organize it for you as, as easy as possible, similar to Becker, so you can follow easily. But what I did, in addition to the lectures, remember, I do have quizzes, so it, it will reinforce that knowledge. So you finish my lectures, you finish my quizzes, you go to Becker, boom, you're going to ace your Becker, you ace your Becker, and you'll be more than prepared to pass, to pass the CPA exam. Think of this as a, as a prep course for Becker, or it goes hand in hand with Becker. It helps you understand the material where Becker doesn't go in depth. And the reason Becker doesn't go in depth, Becker is a great course, you know, no, no if and buts about it, except that they assume a certain level of knowledge that that assumption might be true. For example, if you went to a good accounting program and you are already and you don't need any further explanation, Becker will be great. But if you need that extra push, if you need that extra explanation, I am here to help you. Also, in addition to the all these questions that I have, I do have two additional resources for you for this Becker course. 500 rack CPA questions. This is a separate module. So just take those questions later on before you take the exam. And I do have 50 plus AI CPA simulations where I explain the answers for the simulations as well as the questions. And those are AI CPA previously released. They released them on their website for everyone. And what I did is I took those questions and I explained them for you. So don't forget about this additional resource. And the subscription for all of this is $30 a month. So here's my offer to you. Are you willing to try my subscription for a month, $30 a month? See if it's going to help you or not. If it helps you, great. You keep it. If it doesn't, guess what? You lost $30. Are you willing to take that chance? Are you willing to make that trade? That's all what it takes. If it helps you, I'm telling you, I helped many people in the past pass the CPA exam if they're using Becker. 
what I can tell you is check out my reviews. I have many reviews on my LinkedIn account, on my website. Look at the student reviews, then decide yourself. It's a great investment. It's only $30. If you don't like, cancel. You, you'll no longer be, uh, be charged. If you like it, if it's helping you, keep it until you pass. Good luck. Study hard. And soon I will have this course for other CPA prep companies as well. Stay tuned.